wondered why hockey players skate on ice and not on carpet? Well, it's because they get a lot of rug burn if they skate on carpet, right? Um, uh, maybe. But I also think it has to do with friction. So oh. friction is a force that opposes all movement. So if I'm movement and I'm going that way and you're friction, then you're opposing my movement. The amount of friction depends on the material between two objects that are rubbing against each other. So there's less friction between skate and ice than there is between skate and carpet. So that's why they skate on ice. Absolutely. Christina, did you know that there is even friction between these two pieces of paper here? Really? Mm -hmm. But you're pulling them apart so easily. That's just because I'm really strong and I'm overcoming the force of friction. I see. Mm -hmm. What about, do you think there's friction between thousands of pieces of paper? Might be a little. Well, Sparty, can you show us our demonstration material? Hmm. We're going to show Christina how this works. And this is something that you guys can try at home too. We have two phone books and each page has been intertwined with the other one. Now there's friction between all of the pages in this phone book and it's going to be so strong that I bet that you two cannot even tear it apart. Really? I don't know. Let's try. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Pull. Oh, oh wow. That's, that's a really good try, guys, but maybe we need some more help. So we're here and we have six senator staff and they're all going to pull on this phone book at the same time, sort of like a tug of war. Are you ready? One, two, three, pull! pull. Wow, that's wow. a lot of friction. These guys are pretty strong. No mm. one's giving up on this. Mm. That's awesome, guys. I think you guys could pull all day and this would not come apart. I think you would need two tanks to pull this apart. Mm -hmm. Melanie, did you remember to bring your tank? No, I left my tank in my other pants. Uh, oh, well, too bad. 